All right, here we go. Let's try this one more time because if we don't do it twice in one day, it's just not worth doing, right? It's just not worth doing if you don't do it twice. So let's try this one more time. Uh, everybody's watching. We already showed you guys how this uh, J-hook chart worked out. The blue line, the blue line, your top resistances, the light blue line, the light blue line. These are your sec, your first bounces. The dark blue line are your set, are your tops. And that correlates down here to the same. The top blue line is your, uh, the top blue line is your tops. The bottom blue blue line is your bounces. Uh, and what I was trying to get at was there. This is an A B C pattern. This is not an impulsive wave pattern. So now the question is how, what, when, how far is this damn thing gonna go? Because this sure is gonna end up like a, uh, you know, this is definitely gonna end up like a. Uh, uh, this is this is going to end up for sure like uh, in, in a, I, either we're going to end up with a truncated C right here, which a C wave, which is possible uh, or a truncated. So you're going to have this wave five. This wave five is going to have, I'm sorry, truncated wave five because this is clearly this has got to be your wave five here over on BTC. Uh, so we're running up the wave five. Now, here's my play right now. Here's my play. If this resistance right here breaks right the, your resistance is called out all the way back here okay your resistance does a good has done a good job of playing out if this breaks you have limited upside right so you've got limited now you got to run to the trend line here right you got to run to the trend line and you, you know you there you got to take your chance what's our chance with our trend line right that holding Right, so now we got a we got a run we got a limited run to the trend line here, right? But if I look at this MACD chart, this MACD tells me you can have a really good run. I mean, you can push all the way up through here, and you could get a really good run all the way back up to this blue line, which is your technically this is this would be your top line. But look, the the top line on the RSI is really limited in size. You're really limited in distance, so you don't have a lot of room to run on this uh on this rsi line to get up here all right and i want let's i just want to kind of get into the, some of the important charts here and of course i got to reset everything all right so here was our chart that showed that this is kind of the moment of truth right so the bears need to break below here the bulls need to break below here and we had a clearly defined run out okay so now you've got your trend lines you see and if this just took a, a Mooney Moon right there, 68.35, right, up to test this trend line. So we're sitting down here. We're sitting at 6,700. I mean, that's a good run. You know, that's a 100 and some point run to get up here to test this trend line again. Now, if I looked at that, that would also correlate with my, let me get all these things back up running. And try not to crash my damn computer at the same damn time. All right, I'm going to scoot this over here. Okay, so now here you look. It, this run on your RSI from here to your blue line, which is your top resistance line for your RSI, and I can probably scoot this down just a little bit right there. So if you get this run up to here, that would kind of correlate with a run. You know, that's not much farther. You know, that, that kind of correlates with a run up here to 68.30, 68.35, right? Right, and the top of this trend line right here. Okay, now you got to remember this trend line is coming from you know you got two ways to pull this baby, so you got this trend line right here, which we've already blown out and is now history. This trend line is now obliterated, so we can take this and just get rid of that and get rid of that because we just blasted through that, right? So that trend line is gone. So that only leaves this larger trend line right here, and you're looking for a touch. Now, here's what I don't like about this. I don't like the fact that we never, like if I would have looked at this, and which I did, I would have said, oh, okay, oh, look, A, you know, A, B, C, right? Or five wave, A, B, C, right? Now you're going to come down here. This would have been my bottom line right here. This would have been my bottom, my bottom. There would have been no reason to think this was not my bottom of my larger triangle and or wedge, right? So now I would be looking for A, B, C, right? I would be looking A, B, C. And what's happened is we've changed up this pattern now. So this pattern has changed, right? So we've now got a new pattern. It is no longer this. You've just, you wiped out this pattern right here. It's no longer a viable pattern, 
right? Part of this triangle because we never touched the bottom of this triangle, right? You've now created a newer triangle inside of this larger triangle, right? But you've, 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 uh, you've actually gotten rid of the, the viability of the larger triangle. So that means I got to come down here. I got to dig into this thing. So I'm going to go wick. Oh, oh, I got it. So we're going to get rid of this one. Right, and you got that wick. So here's your wick. So there's your wick out point. Now, if we take our bodies, if we take our bodies, we're gonna go right to there. Okay, so now we just move this into a much tighter triangle right here. Okay, we've just moved this into a much smaller, uh, 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 basically a cone of decision. So we're now in this cone of decision here. Okay, now and we're going to go back and let's look at this possible. So now you're going to look at your top side resistance points right there. Boy, that kind of like kind of works out, right? And even if you go up here, look at that. You know, there's that tall wick up there. Right? There's that tall wick right there. You know, this kind of works out with coming up and testing this and almost making a double top. Right? If you came up, you would make a double top right there. And if it, this held you would look for a double top action and then a fall down, right? Now, that it, that is possible. It's totally on the table to come up, test this wedge because now you've created a new wedge. We have a new wedge here. So now if you test this wedge, the only thing is you act, at that point, you have one, one or two. This can go one of two ways, right? You're going to break the pattern and you're going to make this bullish, right? You're going to break the pattern and you're going to turn the entire trend bullish by breaking this, All right? That's what's going to happen. I mean, I am going to be more bullish now because we've created a brand new wedge. And if we break this wedge, I've got to go ahead and I got to go all the way. You got to go back to the drawing board because this, this would get blown out because now you'd blow out this and you'd blow out this bottom. They'd no longer be viable, and you'd have to create a new wedge in here with however high this got. And if this got higher, if this wedge comes up here and you break up over this, you break up over 7360, 7400, this immediately puts in a new all-time low, higher low with a higher high and shifting the momentum to the bulls. Okay, clearly shifting the momentum to the bulls. All right, so let's get in here. Let's take a look. All right, and uh, all right, so our confluence zone completely blasted. Like it couldn't make it past our confluence zone. Just rejected again. This confluence zone is like the kryptonite area, right? We call this the kryptonite zone. 6450 is my kryptonite zone. And couldn't break it, just couldn't hold it, just couldn't hold it together. This, this area was just too much. The bulls pulled it off. Nice job, bulls. All right. All right, let's march back through. Uh, now, we do have a larger channel we've established, right? So we've established a larger channel right here. All right, there, so we've established a new larger channel here. So on Bitcoin, we have this new... Uh, insane rising wedge okay now we have touched the top of this and if you take this you come straight up you get a pretty good yeah you know and you've touched the 786 you know we came up to the 786 here uh poke through the 786 trying to hit the 786 one more time and then there's your wedge and look at our wedge 67 so here uh our our 0.88 is at 6788 and our, our, now this is the larger 3.2, uh, 0.382. So this is the larger 382 from the larger drop. And this is, would be your next target. Your next target would be this line right up here. Now you've got a little bit different of a trend line over here. Let's go take a look at this one. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, not a lot of range left on this one. Right, not a lot of range left on this one. You're looking right up here at this 0.88. So, and if this thing just kind of continues moving sideways here, 
into this and it can definitely move sideways into this trend line this would actually make this a lot more dangerous moving sideways into this trend line right there okay um, let's go take a look over here oh we already did our rsi so we already did our rsi uh larger channel uh, so now you've also got this really really big channel right here you got this major flagged looking channel that's just sideways right here. Let me blast that out right there. So you've got this big sideways channel. Now, let's go back to the, some, listen, you just posted up, right? Now you've got a bullish cross. So you got a bullish, you got all these crosses now chasing the price up. You know, you got another bullish cross. Now, when the five and the 50 hit, which you just got a five and 50 cross, this is a bearish cross. So this will bring the price down this new little cross right here will bring the price action down all right you came up you tap the 200 on your 12 hour and i want to just go, go through these candles real quick so there's our daily closeout uh, uh moving averages uh not helping us any now if this rips up you're going to get a really good bullish cross with the 7 and 30 right there so you'd be fine uh, you guys have the two hour, uh, the two day. So here's the two day. Look at this insane candle pattern on the two day. So you had this monster top side right here. Hold on. Okay, so you had this, you have this amazing run up right. All right, you made this amazing run up here. You, you did this spinning top candle. Uh, you got this bearish cross, knocked it back down, and now we're marching back up. Uh, look at this insane candle pattern here. Up, nope, down, nope, up, nope. Uh, liquidity, maybe someone taking out some stop losses and making a bunch of money on dumb ass pleeps. Uh, wait, yeah, that's kind of what that looks like. There's my, there's my fundamental analysis right there. Stop loss, wreck, stop loss, wreck, stop loss, wreck. Oh, this is tons of fun. Whoever's making a bunch of money on this, you whales, you're doing a great job. Congratulations. You're wrecking the shit out of people. Good job. All right. So where are we at now? Oh, I'm going to go back to the two-day, our TD count, a three. Ooh, I like threes. I like threes as reversal candles. Let's see how that well that plays out, though. It doesn't look like it plays out very well on. No, it does not like to do that. Eh. Yeah, threes do like to fall out. It's fallen out at a couple threes. All right, so we did pin up a three. We haven't run over that three yet. So, but once again, you run over that three, and this takes this whole thing bullish. And that's not look at you, sixty-eight thirty-five. As you 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 run over that thing, and this thing does go bullish right there. Okay. Now, hold on a second here. All right, um, wedge chart. Oh, oh, sorry, I wanted to finish out this candle. Uh, three-day candle, I think we just, yep, sure enough, posted up a brand new three-day candle. Um, this is actually a bearish pin bar. This is a bearish pin bar style candle right here. Hmm. Look at that wicked wick right there. Wicked wick. Bearish pin bar style candle. Go back in this two day. No, it's not engulfing. All right, doesn't help me. And yeah, let's take a look at the weekly. Whew. Okay, that is a hanging man candle. Okay. Um. Hmm. That could form out to be an inverted hammer and or a hanging man candle. We've got, what, three days left. That could be a major dump candle right there. Have we formed one of these on the weekly before? We done a big hanging man candle? No, we have not. So we really have, we put up a couple, uh, you know, we've put up a couple inverted hammer candles. Uh, that was that was pretty close but boy watch out because this would be at the top of this trend right here i'd watch out to see what that uh yeah it's 
Let's see how this finishes out. This has got a long time to go, long time to go on this candle. You know, you, once again, you push up to your 68, you see even 68.80, you know, 68.50 area. You push up here, and then this will turn into, a, you know, just a big hanging man candle, okay? All right, bring this back down to the four hour. I just want to take a look at the volume real quick. I want to see where our volume is because I have a pretty good idea and I should kick myself right in the nuts uh, for definitely not paying attention to the volume last night while I was sleeping. I need to just never sleep again. That's the vamp vamp mod I need to never sleep. Uh, look at this. Great, great volume. Really good indicator that this thing was going to shoot up. Uh, unfortunately, my dumbass was not paying attention. So great bullish volume, bullish movement continued through uh now we've posted up another candle look at that uh so this last three had really good volume on it uh we're halfway through this candle right here we're not getting much room we're not getting much volume that's on the four hour let's break this down to two hours so we're going to break this down to two hours uh volume uh you know still good still good you got 20 minutes left in this candle I'd want to see how this closes. You are in a five. You did just print up a red six. Um, you know, I like red sixes for reversal candles, but let's see how this plays out with this volume. You still got 20 minutes left. It's a good possibility you can get up here if you got just one more little push out of this thing. Uh, the one hour volume uh, flagging. All right, so you, you definitely have bearish division. Uh, bearish divergence. You have bearish divergence here on the hourly candles. So you're, 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 you're flagging volume. So the volume is slowly dying out. Now you did get one good candle out of that green seven, but you got a bearish candle. Let's see how this volume holds up uh, into the next candle. You like, you got 20 minutes left in this candle. Let's see how that goes. I'd like to see this stay low. I'd like to see this bearish, this bearish uh, candle stay lower down there. Oh, oh, in 12 hour, 12 hour, uh, nope, good. The volume, so volume was flagging on the 12 hour, so you didn't have a signal on the 12 hour. So if you're watching the 12 hour, you're looking at this to have bearish divergence, and then it racked up there with the four hour. You would have had to have been watching the four hour. The last three, four hour candles were your signal there for that pump. Okay, let's cruise over. Um... Uh, just all of our uh, patterns for it. So there's just your resistances for your RSI. That's all it is. Your resistance was for your RSI. Looks like it's going to be tested here anyway pretty soon. And we'll see how that goes. And oh, here's our bigger one. Pull this up here. Got Okay, so wow, just breaking through. So we look, we bounced off this trend line right here. Bang, bang, bang. Tap that all the way up. Right, so there's your support line. Your support trend line is now established. Okay, on your RSI. Uh, I, I expected it to either get rejected off the 786 or the 619. Did not happen last time. That look, last time it got a little bounce, came down, and it looks like it tested. Bigger bounce, bigger bounce. Right now, let's see how this goes. This is going to be a bigger bounce. But here's your top trend line right here for the past, and this is where this has died out. This is where price action has come to die. This line right here on your 12-hour RSI is where price action has come to die. Okay. Oh, if you want to set an alarm on your RSI, you want to go ahead and set your alarm right now. I would put it right at about, I just throw it at like 59 to be safe, even 60. Just put it at 60, throw an alarm up there, because if you come up here and test this, and or you can set it on the on the high side, this will give you, as you get really close up here, you can be make that choice. You can make that life choice right here. Am I going to go long? Am I going to go short? How am I going to play this? Breaking this will give you a long signal once it breaks and closes above. Now remember, it has to not just break it, it has to break and close above for you to break this trend line, because this thing can run all the way up here, tickle the sky, poke the moon, and then fall all the way back down, and everybody will cry. All right, um, let's take a look at our... Uh, okay, so our daily, our daily Ichi. Uh, Ichi, what do we got? Um, 
Hmm. Bearish cross. All right, our 20 is coming under our 10 can line. Right, that is bearish right there. So we do have a cross, bearish daily cross. See, here it is. There's the there's the 20 crossed under the 10 can and fell out. So you do have a bearish cross on your 10 can line right here. Okay, so that's on your daily. Let's go check out our 12 hour. Uh, no help with everything. Our Kaijun line was perfect at the top. Uh, just held that price action down. And six hour. Uh, trying to make a bullish cross. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Trying to make a cross there. I know that that Kaijun moves faster than the 20 MA. That Kaijun moves more like a 7 MA. Right? Kaijun moves real quick. It's like quick like a bunny. So I'm going to say this 4, 6 hour is bearish also. So we have bearish on the 6 hour. Bearish on the daily. Right? This daily is more of my... When you come under... Yeah. yeah, see, look, he came under right there and this just fell out. Now it's running parallel to it, and I don't like that. It just it's like it doesn't have enough force. Right? It's like there's not enough force there for it. You know, it's running so close. Let's see if we have any uh nope, 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 nope. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. But this this daily looks bearish to me with this 20 and this looks bearish, like a bearish cross. But I look at because it's so tight right there. I don't like it because it's so tight. Right? I don't like it because it's so see like this is really tight in here, this super tight action. Alright, so your Kaijun is definitely making a bearish cross on the 12 hour. Okay. All right, give me one second, everybody. Sorry. And I will not be in. Oh, my God, I have a bazillion messages. Twenty in. All right. So there we go, and we're gonna come over. Let's go over, take a look our our count. All right, so our 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 count, our count chart. Uh, let's pull this up here. Not helping us. All right, so our twelve hour is on a green three. So on a green three, let's see what we got here. All right, we had a green one, a green three. Big, look at that, look at that green three. That's four hours, sorry, that's our four hour chart. Get to our 12 hours, sorry, I wanna to go to the 12 hour here. Yep, green three. Mmm. Okay, so you had a green one and a green three. Right, a green one and a green three. A lot of times, green one, green three, continuation. Green one, green three, continuation. Right, like this, this is a pretty good continuation pattern. Green one, green three, died. Right, uh, red one, green three, continuation. Green one, green three, continuation. Uh, so I would, you know, especially when you get this big a hoppy hop right here. You know, uh, now you're... Your stoke line over here on the 12 hour, never touched the bottom. So we never came to the bottom here. And you're making a run all the way back up to the top. So look at last time we did that nine. Remember when we put that uh, the line on our other chart right there? 
So you guys remember when we put the line between this and this and that, right? And this this is kind of your it's kind of your trend line to fall out right there. There's your nine, there's your six, uh, sorry, nine, nine, six, and these are all your fallout points. So take like this nine was way up here, just kept going. This nine was way up here and just kept going. Look at where this, this, uh, look at where we're at right now. Hmm. So there's, this is that nine up top. This is where we're at right now. So there was your bottom. So your bottom just dipped a little bit and then punched up. Right? Where is this one happen? There it is. Look, there's you just dipped a little bit and punched up. Right? One of these kids ain't doing the same thing. Right? You ever hear that song when you're a kid, right? So there's that. But then what the what the what the what is this? Hmm. Went all the way up to the top. Rejected bull shot. Rejected bull shot. Rejected failed little bull shot. Almost like a truncated five. And then it died. Have you fallen out from there before? Yeah, yeah it's fallen out from there before. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a dub. Well, looks like a W for sure, right there. <clears throat> I'm looking for a, like a larger head and shoulders pattern or something. Eh. Not really. I mean, if that played out right there, I mean, that would, you, your target then would be way up here to 7,400, right? If this played out, your target's 7,400. No, I agree. Your MACD does not have to reach up that high. This is our stoke right here. So our stoke is really low comparative to the last couple times this thing gave this last pump. Right, this last pump shot right here, these last two pump shots, which is right here. Alright, so these are our yellow pump shots right here. So last time we gave these yellow pump shots, it was dope. Oh, there it is right here. This yellow pump shot, this yellow pump shot right here. Look at them, they're all consolidated up at the top of the chart. When this one happened off the six, you had a major drastic drop much lower drop that looked very bearish and then you got the push back up i mean was that a push back up just to just to clear out the cmes is that what that is that what that does <clears throat> yeah I, I i wonder if this was just to, to clear out the cme contracts and then we'll have a big ass dump right after it all right Uh, bigger wedge chart just kind of shows you the wedges. Same thing, just same targets, nothing new. Okay, uh, what is this? Oh, oh yes. All right, let's take a look. So, once again, now I, 
Uh, we had a really good long trade opportunity right here. Completely chunked it. Completely missed the boat. Uh, yeah, this was an easy, easy long trade. Second that thing broke that, uh, vamp should have been on it. And total fail. Total fail by the vamp. Every time this freaking thing breaks. Look at it. Look at this thing. It broke it right here. Right before. It broke it during this freaking candle right here. Right? And I would have been able to catch that long trade. It would have been a super easy long trade. It would have been amazing. They would have sung they would have sang stories about Vamp. You guys would have told stories to your children about me, how I caught that pump uh, with the RSI bubble chart. And instead you're gonna sing songs of how stupid I am and how I should have caught that freaking pump with the RSI bubble chart. And I told all the members, I said, I will always, the thing is always going to freaking run. I'm always going to have that damn thing run. It's killing me, man. It's killing me, Smalls. Right? How come I... Yeah, the lore of the vamp, that's right. Let's see what I got. I'm going to reset this thing real quick. Anyway, this thing should have reset. Alright, I'll have to reset this. Anyways, this line should be red. This line needs to be red. It's just a rejection line. Okay, uh, that's all I got. Oh, well, let's see what I have over here. Yeah, just marching right back up. Marching right back up. Look, just blew out this... Uh, uh, blew, look at this. I, I even told everybody. I said, oh yeah, don't worry. It'll just blow this out. No worries. It'll blow this big shooting star style candle out. Nah, don't even worry about it. Sure enough, there it goes. Blowing it out. And, uh... Okay, so... I don't really need that. I need, I need this chart right here. That is the chart I want. Alright, move along. Uh, okay, massive bear flag. Brat. <laughs> Freaking fail. Unbelievable fail. All right. Um, can I put Massiver? Is Massiver a word? All right. Massiver. Bear flag. Because that massive one didn't work. That's the one hour. Let's, let's pull this thing all the way to the top up here. So you're just, you're just not... I'm telling you, this run is... So here's the thing. If you break this, if you break under, if we break back down below this right here, right? 6674. Uh, you break back down below this. This is simple. Right? If you break down and close lower than this line right here, right, which is a 6674, then the bears are just gonna win. Right? That's that's it. This you've you've touched this top, right? Tapped, tap the channel, right? Are you gonna tap the channel one more time? And now the tap of the top of this channel, right? You, there's 60, you're going, you got limited height on this channel here, right? So there's your first step. Right, and then you kind of, kind of just work your way up right here, right. But I think this is going to go some sideways action, and if you follow this thing up, look, that's as high as you can get. You can really get up to seventy, sixty-eight, right. Let's see, you get some down. Even if you come down here, and you test this channel right here, you can't even really be safe opening a short up until you've tested until you break this. Right, because now that wedge is legitimate. That's a legitimate wedge right there. Right, so you technically can't even hop into a short until here, and you got to look for an open and close lower for a short here. 
right? So you literally got to be like looking for that in order to, this has just got to break down. You got to break down here. And we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of that. Okay, so top side resistance is now way up here. All right, we're going to scoot this down to here. There's your top side resistance. And there's your top side of your wedge. There's the bottom side of your wedge. And you're trapped in the channel. Right? And you just made a bigger bear channel. That's all this is, is a bigger bear channel. Now, this can turn into a bullish channel. Right? This can turn into a clearly bullish channel. Right here. Yeah, there's yep, one hour is about to close, two hours about to close. See how the two hour looks. Eh. I mean the candle's eh. Is it engulfing? Kind of looks engulfing a little bit, right? So that looked like it is an engulfing. You gotta post up an engulfing candle. Okay, let's go get our, our trading book. Let's pull up our let's pull up our engulfing candles. And let's spear engulfing candles. Let's see. Yep, there we go. All right, so. Yep, nothing. Really doesn't. This. No, it didn't really get a tweezer top on that. It didn't really get anything on that. This is, you know, kind of neutralish candle pattern, I would say. It's kind of a neutralist. If anything, it's kind of, this is a Maraboozle candle right here, right? This is kind of a very bullish Maraboozle candle simply because you really don't have a top on it. So there's no top on that candle. So this looks like a Maraboozle candle to me, which is a continuation candle also. This is a bullish candle. Now, this is engulfed right here. So, I mean, technically, this could be another bullish Harami that you just posted up right there, only there's no wicks on this thing. So this is a, possibly another bullish uh, candle pattern that you posted up looking for this, uh, looking for the top of this channel right here. All right. And there's that. All right, okay, let's go. And uh, there's our J hook chart. Kind of make Vamp cry. I don't want to talk about it. I need, I need a little alone time tonight. Uh, shorts. Let's see what shorts did. Shorts, uh, you know, uh, so look at this resistance line we put up yesterday. Right, we put up this resistance line yesterday and bang, nailed it, fell out. Right, nailed that line, it fell out. Look at our RSI, our RSI uh, did turn down, so it's okay. Now it looks like shorts are going back up, right? No, 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 I take that back. Shorts are dropping, so shorts are dropping. I mean, they did go back up, then they dropped, sorry. All right, and what do we got here? Oh, just my moving averages. So we already know this. Listen, you got a bunch of moving averages. They're all just crossing. I'm telling you, this is a bearish cross right here, though. So give this time to play out. You might see another test of the 200 MA, and we'll see how that goes out. Let me just cruise down here. I'm trying to get to the other important charts. Just all the trend lines. Uh, there it is. You still got this trend line ahead of you to challenge you. It's right there, 6,800. Uh, yeah, okay, look, here's our, so what do we got? This is our daily, so let's do our daily. So our daily resistance, 6,800, 6,810 on the daily. 
68.10, top of the daily. There it is. Now can it can break through. It can totally break through, right? Uh, there's our middle line, 64.87, right? 64.87. So we've got room on the top side here. Let's see if that 786 holds. Uh, daily support is super deep. Uh, moving up though, 61.55. All right, let's pull our 12 hour up. Ooh, 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 sorry. Well, let me pull my 12 hour up. Ooh, didn't even move. 68.59. 8.59 barely moved on the top side. So there's your top side resistance right there. The 68.59 is a really good target. 68.59 is a really good target. And 62.66 for our 12 hour low side. And there's your 65.60. All right, so you've got some really good target. You know, this is. These are looking like they're running to the top of the trend, okay? So, it's your BB 12 hour top is, uh, what is that? That's a uh, 12 hour top is 68, uh, 68.59. BB one day top is uh, 68.10. Okay, so we're gonna watch this, and yeah, we're we're making a little run for the border right here. Get a nice little run. Okay, our divergences. I just wanted to go over our divergences really quick. So on these, here's what you got: a bullish jumbo bullish candle combo. So, oh, there it is. This is a bullish candle combo right there. Okay, so, all right, let's take a look here. So on our weekly, now if I look at our weekly, we're still bearish. Look at this. This is still bearish volume. So the weekly volume is bearish. Right? I mean, 100% is bearish. Like our weekly volume is just tanking out right there. Okay, this is it. I mean, there's nothing you can say about this. This price action, look, the price, the volume dropped, the price action went up, right? Now, you got this little climb, and the volume went up a little bit here. So you did get a little bit of climb in the volume right here over these two weeks. But, you know, listen, this week is almost over. So we're, we're, we're tracking, what, it's Friday, right? Hmm. It's Friday UTC time. We've got two days. We got two days to top out this volume right here of the look at and this is almost uh, it's almost we're not even halfway through this candle. There's no way we can post up. It's going to be OK. It's going to be really difficult to post up a candle. It's possible. Anything's possible in crypto. But this is bearish volume. OK, now you've got regular bearish divergence has been broken. Right. This is your regular bearish divergence. But you've got hidden bullish divergence right here. So this hidden divergence is playing out on the uh, MACD. On your Stoke, you've got hidden bullish. But listen, you've got hidden bearish divergence also that has not broken out right there. Uh, you've got hidden bearish on the uh, on your RSI on the weekly. But you've got exaggerated bullish on your daily, right? You've got this flat line on the bottom, so this is exaggerated bullish. And you, you've got hidden bearish, though, on the top. So you kind of got a bunch of mixed signals all going down at the same time, right? And in including this, this uh, bearish divergence, this very bearish divergence, which is about to just get smashed. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Um... 
Uh, three days left. Oh, Friday. Uh, well, yeah, f- uh, true. We got all Friday, all Saturday, all Sunday. So we got three days left. So we're halfway through the week, but our candle's half as big. Um, our, oh, look at the gap on this. Look at the Bitrix gap on that. I mean, that's like crazy bullish right there on that gap. Okay. Crazy bullish on the gap. Target is right up here. There's your target. 68. It looks 68.45. I, I just a lot of targets lining up right over here. You know, slide this thing over here. Right there it is. And it's funny because I left my shorts open up here forever. I finally closed them out. Right, I had shorts open at 60, what, 69, 68.50 to 6,900 or something. Oh my God, I, I swear to God, I had to listen to people. Why did you leave your shorts open? You're a donkey, you suck. Well, we're about to freaking possibly get up there to my damn shorts. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, MACD over here. Here's your MACD. This is our standard MACD. Standard MACD is about to test the test and see if this baby is going to take us to the motherland and the Lambo land and we're going to buy uh, all buy Lamborghinis and I'm going to get my blue. I want to get a blue one. Or actually, I'm not going to buy a Lamborghini. No, I don't think my daughter will like it. But anyway, so here we go. So we're coming down. Now, we, we had a neutral. We had a neutral uh, RSI in here. Almost a very flat, uh, I'm sorry, histogram. We had a very flat histogram. Uh, now we're going we're going bullish on the histogram right here. Sorry, our histogram is going bullish, but it's very barely going bullish right here. And you know you can, this is not a not a stretch, not a stretch to break this. Should be super easy to break that right now. I mean the way this is going, this can possibly break that. But I'd like to see if this thing wiggles back around and dies. Okay, doggy coin. So doggy coin is ah, another nipple. Man, freaking doggy coin. This thing just lives forever. Got 10 lives. Four. Likes to fall out. One, two, three, four. Likes to fall out. One, two, three. Let me see here. Hmm. Kind of got five over here. One, two, three, four, five little nipples. Let me get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Uh, we got five little nipples over there. One, two, three, four. Eh, five little nipples there. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, you know what? We just got a pump too. Remember what I say? I said doggy likes to call the last pump. Doggy likes to call the last pump. I wonder if this is it. I wonder if this is calling. Doggy's calling the last pump before it dies. If doggy dies, the second doggy dies, I'm short in the farm. I'm short in the damn farm. Uh, Tron, Tron Daily, got up, got through a lot of the, look at the moving averages right here, all coalesced right here in the middle of Tron. Uh, Tron BTC, take a look at Tron BTC, just acting like a beast. Uh, one of the things we talked about was this never violated this five wave. This could have gone both ways here on Tron. And I think on the previous one, I don't have both counts, but like you, this one, two, three, four, you never violated this. This definitely looks like a five wave coming up. It's hard to count this out as anything but a five wave going up because if you try to count this as a one, two, three, four, five, right? Now you do violate this. So your your candle closes are up in here. So you kinda you kinda you kinda violate that and this makes me think this is a wave five right here. All right? I don't know how high this can go. We'll see. Came up tap the six one eight, got rejected. Now, at least this thing, you know, you get the 76, the 88. Let's see if we can make a run up here or if it's going to come down and test. All right, 88. Cardano. Cardano. Uh, yeah. So, 88, when I look at 88, same thing. You know, A, B, C up here somewhere. And here's your way five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you can make this an internal. Right, so we can go in here and make this an internal one, two, three, four. See the one, two, three, four, five. Bigger one, two, three, four, five. And then bigger one, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four. Didn't violate this wave one. 
and pushed off for the wave five. Now this is violated, this wave five going down because you can't count this. One, two, three, four violates this and I'll show you how that works out. So if you start your count here, one, two, three, four, five. So you just, you can't count this down right here because you've come all the way up through these. So Tron and ADA both have up counts on them along with Litecoin. And we'll get over and I will do Litecoin. But Litecoin's got the same. There it is. See, there you can see both count options, right? Now you've just, you've blasted out this lower count option. So this is it's pretty much gone right here simply because of that and you can turn this into uh, a possible bigger pattern right here right you can turn this into some kind of a like this so let me show you you can go like this right like that dang it sorry okay you go here Got that one, and then you kind of got this right here. Right, and or you can go, you know, the other thing is this, but this is a continuation wave. This should possibly break up, right? Yeah, right, this should break up. And it's a little harder to pull in there. So you pull something like this, this, and this. So that would be... That would be your play right there, right? A, B, C, D, uh, D, E. This is the only other count I can get. This is the only other bearish. This is the only other count I can get, right? I can't get any other counts. That would be A, B, C, D, E. So that would be the bearish count on that. And then if that were your bearish count and this got rejected right here, you're going to know. If this gets rejected right here and comes back down, right, you're going to know right away. Okay? So on ADA, this is your bearish count because then your A, you would come up for your E wave and your E wave would basically fall out. So this is your, it's a, it's a funky, it's a little funky right there. I know it is. Go ahead, give it to me. It's a little funky. Um, okay, let's see what we got over here. XRP, let's take a look at our XRP. We know we got all our XRP fans out there. Uh, yeah. uh. Hmm. Hmm. Where is the pump? If I was the Terminator, I would say, where is the pump? Where's the pump? Where, where's the pump at? Where's the, where, where's this, this, I, I ex totally expected to open up Ripple and see this monster green candle right here. Like monster green candle, but where, why, why don't we have, why don't we have a, what happened to Ripple? Why doesn't Ripple have this? And this is a 12-hour chart, 12-hour chart. This thing should just be all the way up here. Why no pump? Anybody know why no pump on Ripple? Anybody? Leading first wave diagonal can have overlapping waves one and four. Got it, okay. Uh, BC, uh, yeah, well, besides that, because RP is garbage. Yeah, but what the? Uh, I mean, everybody got a pump. Right? Every, everybody got a, a decent pump out of that, right? There's something. I mean, everybody got some kind of a pump out of that. That's weird. Why would there not be a pump there? Yeah. Listen, I try not to say bad things. All right. Now, here's my moment. I need a moment of silence for my death cross. Okay, that's enough. All right, so yeah, vamp, super sad face, man. Unbelievable. Can't believe my death cross got blown out. Uh, yeah. Damn. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, Glove posted it. Premature population is a problem in crypto. 
right? Definitely an issue with crypto. Uh, okay, we're going to go over here and take a look. So let's look at uh, Ethereum. And we're going to all sit here and cry with the vamp, okay? So blew out the death cross. Blew out the death cross. Unfreaking believable. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 you know, I, that was <sighs> super sad face vamp. Super sad face vamp, okay? Uh, bulls, this is the, <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm still, here's my thing. I still ha can't count, right? You still haven't shown me a, you still haven't shown me a, f a true uh, five wave up. I'm still bearish on ETH, right? I know BTC is bullish. I know XRP. I know I always have a bunch of bullish counts on them, right? I know these have a bunch of bullish counts on them. I am still, look, here's your count. Here's your ABC. A, B, so up A, down B. Here's your C. Right? And now you do your internal count. One, two, three. I can, I can actually go down to a smaller time frame here. So I'll go down to six hour. Look, I can count out a four and a five in here. I can actually do it. Maybe it's four hour, four hour. There you go. There's four. I look four, five. I can count out wave one, two, three, four, five. All right, and or you can possibly even get a truncated fifth out of this. So three down, four up, five. Right, so you can post up a truncated fifth. Uh, I don't like the truncated fifth. I like this a lot better. I mean, I think this fits. Uh, it, this 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 was a very you know this is a good candle even though it got blown out. You know, this is still a really good candle. And over here now, I when you count down, so you're gonna now count down for this pattern, right? So wave one, two, three, four, five. So that means that if this you were trying to count this as a bullish count, one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, right? If you're trying to count this bullish, so here would be your bullish count. So the bulls are trying to say one, two, three, four, five. No way, Jose. Totally blown out, right? Totally blown out. Okay, so just blown out, right? And that's there's there's no, that's it. There's there's nothing, there's nothing you can do, because that thing is just utterly just wrecked out of there. Okay. All right. Uh, now you can have a diagonal here, right? So you can have you can have a diagonal, leading diagonals possible up here, you know, on the large, you know, like bigger, just bigger time frame. But I, you know, I'm still looking for. I'm still looking this as the bearish count. Uh, I'm looking. This is still at the bearish count right here. As this is a completed five wave, and until this breaks, and I put this in the members area, right? Until this breaks, uh, right over here, you actually have to break. I would say right. Eh, you got to break. You see this right here? So you got to make that line yellow or green. I can make it green. Right, you gotta break this line. If you break this line, then you violate the. Uh, then you then you violate it for sure. Cause I go one, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We already have that over in the members area. Uh, ETH charts. Yeah, same old, same old. I don't think I've updated this. I haven't updated that. And I got one more. Where's my ETH volume chart? So, so ETH, ETH, ooh, ETH volume chart. Okay. So here's our ETH volume chart. Okay. So here was my, <laughs> this is one of my charts. So I said, I swear to God, Vamp will cry if this goes up here and dumps. Okay. So if this goes up here, and this freaking thing dumps, I swear to God, I will have the biggest sad face ever. Right? You guys will see a vamp with a super, super, super huge sad face. Now, you could have reshorted this up here at the top, but it would have been a very, very risky play, right? And I'm very, I just want to tell everybody, this is not a good time to be shorting 
or longing. This is actually a very challenging time to be trading right now because you, you have limited side, you have limited upside, I feel. You're in your wave five. So if you go back and you're even like over here, you're going to count these out, right? If this is going to be your count, one, two, three, four, five, and you're a bull, you're in a wave five, but you're in a wave five of a wave five. Right, so you're in a five of five right there, right? XBTC, right? Same thing. Now you've got more room here. This this still seems like you're you're just starting a wave one of five here, right? And you've got a ways to go on Tron, but for sure on ADA, this looks like you're you're just still finishing out your three, looking for your four, gonna post up your five. Uh, limited area. I have no idea on XRP over here, and then there's my volume. So here's my final chart over here for. Uh, for ETH, and I just I still count this out as a four wave. I'm still looking for a target down lower, right? Still looking for a target down lower. But this get this is it. Yeah, I mean, I did personally re-enter a short trade. I did personally catch this up here, and I will post that. And when I get wrecked again, I'll just post it again that I got wrecked again. But I don't like a lot of things about what's going on now. BTC. I'm more bullish on BTC. I'm more bullish on BTC. I'm more bullish on ADA. I'm more bullish on Tron. Those ones I'm legitimately bullish on. I'm not bullish on ETH. I'm just not that bullish on ETH, right? And you can look right down here. Look at my look at my volume, right? Look at our volume right here. Flagging one hour volume, right? Let's look at our four hour volume. Okay, our four hour volume. Flagging again. Look, we have an hour and 35 minutes in this, right? We just had these, this, 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 this candle put up great volume, but no price action, right? Great volume, no price action. You had this steady incline, just like BTC, the steady incline of volume, and then this thing just tanked out, and our volume is just going to start dying out right over here, right? I'm going to pull this back. Let's go to two hours, right? So look at our two hour volume dying. Two hour volume is dying. I want to go to the 12 hour volume. L look at our 12 hour volume. Okay. This is bearish. Yes, you got this pump right here. Yes, you did. And God bless it. You know, God bless everybody who's in their futures contract and one on their futures contract. High five to all of you. Mm. But this is definitely a bearish. Uh, this this volume is bearish. It's It's flagging off. It's falling. Look. The price was going up, right? This was up. This was still up. This candle is higher, right? This is still up. This is a green candle. These are all ups, right? But the volume is dying out. And then you've got this wicked pump. Look at this wicked pump. This massive pump where everybody's like, oh my God, I got a FOMO into this. It's going to the moon, right? This massive pump. Look at this. This is, this is like a weenie green candle. Right? Seriously, if you brought this out on your honeymoon night and you showed this candle to your wife, she might divorce you on the spot. She might pick up, walk out of the room, go find Roger, the bowler with the hairy chest and the bald head, right? And she'd go find him and she'd probably, you know, finish off the honeymoon night with him. Because you don't want to pull this 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 candle out and show anybody you're gonna be embarrassed, right? I wouldn't want to pull that candle out and show anybody, right? So, all right. Oh, you better not lock up on me. All right, here we go. That's what I talk about when I talk bad about the candle. See how that is? Candle envy. Nothing worse than candle envy. All right, let's pull up our Litecoin chart. We got a bunch of people asking for the Litecoin charts here. And here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Let's put that back. Let's put Litecoin. And okay, let's take a look at our Litecoin chart. Oh, oops. Seriously, too many damn fibs. Fibs are just messy, messy fibs. Okay, so now Litecoin. Litecoin, this looks good. This looks really good. You put in an A, you put in a B, and you're now finishing a C, and this looks really good. This is very bullish, right? This was a bullish count. One, two, Right, didn't quite violate the one right here. One, two, three, four, and came up. You know, looks really good. Let's take a look at our bullish. Look at our volume. Give us some volume here. Let's see how our volume is. All right, and oh, you know, me, eh? Look at the volume on this. Very nice, very nice volume. Jesus, lordius. Holy cow! Look at the volume on that thing. 
Jesus. You broke this thing out on your honeymoon night, man. Boy, Charlie Lee needs to be proud of himself. Right? When you sell all your like wine and you can walk around with a candle this big in your pocket. All right? That's how that rolls. Okay? That's how that man can roll. Now, you are putting up this wave. So, take a look. You've, you've put in a wave one, two. I'm looking for a wave three. Three. This could Is this your three? Looking for your four? Right? Or is this your five? If you put in your fifth wave, because I can count one, two, three, four, possibly five in there. You could stick a five in there. Right? Now, this is a six hour chart right here, so we're kind of high on the time frames, but you could probably stick in a, you could probably stick in, that is a five right there. You did come up to your 382. Great. This is on a higher time frame. Right? So this back, the farther back this is, the bigger the drop this comes from, right? So let's go. So this drop from here to here, you come up. There's your 236, blasted through it, came up to your 382. You're on your 382. Here's your 50. Your 50 is up here at 71 dollars. Now you can go and do a little retracement action right here, maybe back to the 618, and then come up to the, the 0.88. And if you get really feisty, you can hit the 71 dollar mark, right? So this is still, I, I like this. This is very bullish here. Right, let's say you, you you blew through that trend line. Right, let's see where that trend line is. Eh, man, the trend line's a little sketchy right there. I mean, you know, tap, tap. That's that's okay. It's an okay trend line. I'm okay with that. Uh, so, but now this trend line is possibly going to turn into your resistance. So if I were to count this out, and it's for me, I'd be looking at. I'm I'm bullish. I would be very bullish here. Three, probably four, you know, are you going to tickle there? You're going to tickle here. So wave five target, right? Could be either one of these extended wave five could be way up here. Okay. Now remember wave five doesn't have to be that far. You can just do a retracement and then a bounce off here. Tag your wave five. Everybody claps each other. You, you get high fives all the way around because this is very bullish, much easier to count than any of the other ones. What's funny is how bearish ETH is in comparison to how bullish Litecoin is, right? So Litecoin is very bullish, but this is still a corrective count, right? Still a corrective count here, but this is very bullish in, in comparison to, uh, to uh, Ethereum, right? Very bullish, so I'm much more bullish on this than I am on the other. All right, and I think that's it. I think, oh, oh, no, how do I forget the most important? Well, the new chart. Let me bring out the new chart, okay? I see we don't even have the damn new chart up here. All right, all right so let's bring over the new chart. Lodi charty. Uh, bottom finder. Uh, I'm really disappointed in this bottom finder chart. Right, super disappointed in the bottom finder chart. All right, here's our bottom finder chart. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is going to be the last chart we're going to do, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're on the daily. This thing likes to find the bottom, right? So here's kind of what we're watching. Oops, oops, oops. Come here, come here, come here. Got to go way back. Give me a second. I'm getting there. Good things take time. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Okay, so this is our, this is my chart right here, right? This is my little, my little, my little chart. Okay, here is my copy of my present version of this. So this is your historical back in, what is this, 2016. Here is my present day, right? Take a look at this, right? A, B, C, D, E, blah, blah, right? Now I'm trying to decide, is this there and this there, right? Is that like this? Is this A, B, C, D, E? Now check it out. It's perfect on the 618, perfect on the 50, right? Came back, perfect on the 382. Okay, here you go. This is today. This is now. Bounce. Tag. 
Perfect on the 618. Bounce. Tag. Now missed. This clearly missed the 5-0. But if you squeeze this up a little bit, which it should be squeezed right there. There you go. You tag the you tag the three the three eight two. Okay? Now if you move this down, you can line this up. But check this out. This B misses by a freaking mile, a country freaking mile. Right? This B misses by a massive country freaking mile. And if you go into this B, you get this A like this. You get this A B. So A B C. Get this A B C inside of this big country mile. So and in fact, you could do this one. There's a bunch of A B C's in here. Anyways, you get the point, right? There's a bunch of A B C's locked into this D channel right here. Okay. So my question, my 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 kerfunculation is: Is this up here? Right? Is this up here? And we miss this B? And then we come all the way up here like that? Right? Because are we putting in an A, B, C? But here's my problem. Look, we already put in a freaking A, B, C. This makes me mad because look, A, B, C. I can count a freaking perfect A, B, C in there. <sighs> Your A is a B. My A is a B. Some harmonic bullish pattern. Yeah, the, so that's what this is. This is that's very good. Yeah, one day a, a, a harmonic bullish pattern. I can't play the harmonica, but I'll roll with that, right? I'll roll with that. This looks like more like a guitar pattern with the strings, but yeah, okay. So you see, this is my this is my kerfuffle right here because I think we've already put in this ABC pattern and this ABC did bring us back right this ABC brought us back to the 382 so you attack the 382 then we dropped then you get this sideways action so you drop here then this thing just goes sideways so we did the E now you got the pump up there's the pump look at this pump you up right very nice pump and then it's just sideways action right here okay so you just pump and go sideways and then die, right? Pump, go sideways, touch the trend line, and then this thing just, you know, it goes to bed, nighty-night, okay? Just nighty-night, goes to bed, that's it, all over, right? So this is what I'm thinking is going to happen. I'm thinking we move a little sideways here. You got to break out. You got to break out of this range right here, right? You got this trend line, super important. You break out of this trend line, then you have to reassess this and say, you know what? You're, you're right, Vamp. Uh, this old chart was right. You completely missed this B, right? This B was just a total a whiff, and this B should have gone like this. The B should have been a complete miss. And this should come up here, and this should tag here, and then so you'd break this line, looking for the 5-0, and that would be your top. That would be your top, right? Because look at this, 618, 618, right? 5-0, no 5-0. But you have this hardcore pattern right here to get to the 5-0. You know, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It just retraced so low right there. Right? Retraced so low. This, so there's my... Now, let's go down here. Let's look at what happened before, okay? So let's go down here. Now, I drew out this blue pattern right here. Right? Here's this blue pattern. Look at the... Look at this. Look at this blue pattern did, right? Here's what the blue pattern did. So the blue pattern, let's hope this is blue. Where's blue? I'll make it blue. All right, so what the blue pattern did is, watch right here, broke through the orange, broke back through the orange, right? Then did a skippy and a scoppy and a skippy again, and this is a sideways action, and then it pooped out, right? And all the time, your green thing, right? Your green thing here, swoop down right and they got to here and said okay check it and then broke back up right so I'm gonna show you how this works out one more time okay hold on a second because I'm gonna do it over here 
So I'm going to stretch this out a little. Let me stretch this out. I can make this a little bigger. There we go. Okay. So here you go again. Right. Now you've got this, you got your, you got your, we're going to do a blue line. All right, here we go. Broke up, broke down, broke up again, broke down, broke up, and then died. And it went right through the pink line, right? And here's this pink, this is this, see this sucker just swooshed right through. Swooshed right through. Right, and we are right on this, and oh my God! So we the, these things were kissing; they're practically cousins, right? They're practically two Kentucky cousins right here, on a, a hot summer day with some really strong lemonade, and these guys were they were just about to get it on, and and it was so close, right? This was so close right here. I mean, I was expecting this to cross. We were all watching this cross. And at the same time, we kind of recognized that this pattern had occurred before. And, you know, there's your cross, cross. Look, uh, so you did uh, green, blue, cross, blue, orange. Green, blue, blue, orange. Right here. Green, blue, blue, orange. Both of them crossed. Okay, then you get this, you get the orange, blue, right? This is your orange, blue, orange, blue, cross, right? Then everything stays within range right here. So it stays within this range and you're in this range right here. Okay. And this is not, it's try, it's trying to cross over. It just can't cross over. It's trying so hard, but they're just literally running parallel to one another. Right. And if this thing breaks down again, you're going to have a little dump right here. Right. But it's going to be like, ha ha, only kidding up. And then they'll finally eventually teeter out and die. Now, I don't like it because you're not on a moving, you're not on an MA up here. I would have preferred to be on a moving average. We're not on a moving average here. Right? I like this 618 50 382. Perfect, right? 618 uh, 382. Nada. Nothing. And where the hell is this freaking thing going? Not making me happy right here. Okay? When this orange line goes up, that is bearish when the orange line goes down that is bullish when the blue line is under everything when the blue line is under everything it's bearish right right now we're trapped just like in here we're trapped in this channel so we're between the the bullish line and we're between the 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 whatever the frick this line is telling us about right it's more like the price action line here okay so this line right here is is actually this is our histogram this is the histogram right here so this this line right here, this indicator, is on. It's you know where until we cross it, until we cross it, right? It's it's gonna get or until this thing turns. You're waiting for this thing to turn colors. Look, this stupid thing isn't turning damn colors yet. Freaking thing is turning damn colors. So, yep. Yeah, Thomas is right. All right, so this is all I got. This is all I got. This is it. I know it's a long show today. I apologize for a long show. I, I'm trying to make these damn shows shorter. And so I think that's all we got today. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, I apologize for the super, super crappy short trade. Uh, vamp sucks. Mm. Chalk another loss onto the board for the vamp. And I did get some good wins. Uh, I did. I have had some good wins, uh, and I just posted up a loss, right? So I'm gonna keep this chart up right here. This is the chart I'm gonna keep running for everybody right here, okay? So looking for our levels, and I can make this bigger right here, just so everybody gets a good idea, okay? All right. So our target is we're trying to either this holds, and I will write on here, right? Uh, Light blue line needs to hold for the bears. Okay, so the light blue line needs to hold for the bears and the bulls. Okay, uh, bulls want to run to the trend line. And that is, what is that, 68, uh, 68, uh, 68, 30, 68, 30 to 68, 50, okay? So bulls want to run to the, oh, let's post, and 
to the blue. The blue trend line, right? So the bulls are running the blue trend line. And now the bulls have got to hold, the bears have got to hold. Are you looking for this just to break this previous high of 66? Uh, you'd really want to get in here 66.90, maybe a little, yeah, 66.90. So, um, uh, bears need to break uh, 66.80, I would say, to 66, honey, right? Uh, might be a little loose, 6,700. Right, uh, take control. All right, so there's your top side target. So you now have a top side target. Your bottom side target is going to be right here. So there's going to be your first bottom side target is 50, uh, 5100, right? So you got a 50, sorry, 5500. So, bear's first, bear's target is 50, a uh, 65, 20-ish. So that's what the bear's trying to get to. The bear's trying to get down there to that, okay? Now we got a cross here. So look, we have crossed on this chart. Ooh, drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. So we're going to write right here. Oh, okay. We're going to take over this one. J hook chart. Uh, the MACD and indicator have crossed. Uh, looking for the J hook pattern. Which uh, uh, the J hook dump? It's a dump. Looking for the J hook dump pattern. All right, and here we are. It's on the bottom one. We're looking for uh, RSI resistance. Is the light blue? Blue. So this would be the light blue trend. Uh, light blue historic called dump line, right? Historical dump line. Yeah, I'll put that right in there. This stoke is not helping us, so I'm gonna make this like this. There it is. All right. Uh, did B standard creator show a long? Uh, let's go check it out. Let's go see. Give me. Well, we'll do this as the last thing. Do, 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 do. Where's it? Hold on. Let's see. I don't scalp, so I don't use the B stoops. I need to make sure I have everything on. It's a scalping tool. OK. 
Got it. Here it is. Uh, 12 hour. Nope. Six hour. Uh, so it called the long on the bottom. So you got the long call. Hmm. So if you played the B scalper, you are already in a long. So the B scalper called the long call way down here. 63.34. Look, it called the long here. Perfect. It called the long there. Perfect. Now this wick would have been in, insane. This Darth Maul wick. So it did call it on the six hour. Uh, then you got to go down to the one hour. Let's see, one hour. Uh, yep, it called the long. There it is. So you should have been in a long trade based on the B scalper. Right? So the B scalper called the long. Yeah, let's go over here. Yep, so the B scalper. This is uh this is our B scalper, right? Now it's calling a short. Right. It's now it's calling a short. All right. Uh, and there you go. Let's see how it does. Six hour. So look, the six hour called the long. Yeah, now this is not calling the short, right? Is not it is not calling the short. Uh yeah, we have the so oh dude, I yeah, this is a correction pattern only. We're in a correction pattern. So we've already showed everybody this is a correction pattern. I want to go up to the three day, twelve hour. Three day. See, look, this thing does it. Look at there's the long call. Called the long. Very nice. Now it called the short back here. So it did call the short back here. Now I'll tell you what, guys. This three day B scalper is freaking amazing on calling these bigger time frames. Okay? Do not mess with this thing. Right? Do not play around with this thing, right? Hold on. Okay, so listen, do not mess around. Look at how accurate this thing is on these bigger, higher time frames right here. Look at this. Boom. You, uh, This is a swing trader's just paradise. This is a swing trader's paradise. Now look at here. See, they called the short here. Now you just would have had, some, had to have some big ass balls to hold on to this short when it came up here, right? But it's called the short. You're just going to have to have some big ass balls right now to hold on to this short right here because look this thing look you call the long it dropped down right but then it went you called the long it dropped down and then it went it called the short it came up and then it went i mean this thing makes some pretty damn accurate calls this is called the b scalper it's our until one mil b scalper you get it for being now this is the regular uh fx so we've got the beast effects and you've got the regular effects and you get these with the bear package. With the bear package, you get this one. Uh, the newer one that's more accurate is called the Beast, uh, the Beast Scalper. And that one you get with the bull package. So look at this thing. Absolutely money on these long calls. Do not play around with it. These things are legit. These calls are legit. You just have to have some cojones on these calls because it calls it early. It says, hey, 
you know, if you took me to dinner, it'd be really nice. You know, wink, wink, take me to dinner, dumbass, and I might put out for you, right? I mean, it's that kind of heads up, right? Now, if you don't take her to dinner, you know, you're definitely not going to get no lovin's, right? And especially if you take her to Taco Bell, like Ryan's supposed to take me to Taco Bell, right? He ain't going to get no lovin's either. That's a fact. Not for no Taco Bell. Even if it's a romantic sit-down Taco Bell, that ain't happening. All right, so this is kind of no joke right here with the bee scalper be be like legit okay so this ai woof this does not call these three-day tops lightly okay it does not call these three-day tops lightly i would be watching very carefully and this can still bust over this just like it did here you just got to have you got to be ready to catch this puppy when it breaks over for the next big breakdown Right, this thing is just money. If you would have played this long, oh, dude, can you imagine going three x on this call, three x on this call, right, with like two BTC? Whew. Wow, right. Same thing here. Same thing here. Call this short. I mean, if you were three x with two BTC, you'd just be rolling in money, and you would have done nothing. You would have done jack nothing. You know, wait it. Oh, there's the short dump out. Yep, I'm ready for the steakhouse, boys and girls. Big time for me. I am not a cheap date, all right? I'm not a cheap date. I need something a little nicer than Taco Bell. Okay, so uh, that's it. Listen, very good show. Thank you guys all so much. I really appreciate everybody being here. Uh, for me, Chris, and uh, the Vamp at Until One Mill, all of our crew, you guys got to come over. You got to check out all the really cool stuff we got going on the channel. We got a bunch of big announcements to make. We have a new thing where people are making thousands of dollars in a couple hours right we can we're we're actually we have this new thing where people are making thousands of dollars in hours all right so you guys are gonna have to check it out it uh, we're gonna have it in the channel very soon we've been testing it out and it has been absolutely incredible okay absolutely incredible come join us at until one mill.com Thank you so much. It's okay for the dislike. I deserve the dislike. I deserve it for my horrible, horrible call on the freaking on the bull cross on the death cross. I deserve the uh, I deserve the thumbs down, and I probably thank you for it for the me. Thank you guys all, and I am out.